Eminent lawyer and former union law minister Ram Jaitmalani passed away at the age of 95 this morning in Delhi. According to reports, Mr. Jaitmalani had been under round-the-clock medical treatment for the last two weeks. He was apparently bedridden and had lost a lot of weight. One of the highest paid lawyers of the country, Mr. Jait Malani, served as the Union Law Minister and the Urban Development Minister under the Atal Bihari Bajpai-led NDA government. He had also served as Chairman of the Bar Council of India. From challenging the emergency in the Supreme Court of India in 1975 to defending the killers of both Indira Gandhi and Rajiv Gandhi, Ram Jait Malani handled many high-profile cases changing the legal history of modern India. Mr. Jait Malani is survived by his son Mahesh Jait Malani and a daughter who is based in the United States of America. Possibly the greatest criminal lawyer this country has ever seen since post-independence. A remarkable life story, someone who came from Karachi, as he once told me, with just a suitcase in hand and had to uh, go through the entire process of relearning the law almost, was a teacher at Government Law College for a while, even as he began his practice in the late 1940s, and then went on to, uh, to become uh, one of the most outstanding lawyers the country has seen, particularly on the criminal side. Uh, he later, of course, acquired uh, another profile when during the emergency, uh, he showed a political avatar taking on Indira Gandhi, uh, winning an election from Mumbai, but his political career was more in the nature of a political gadfly. He was mercurial. He could switch sides. But as a lawyer is where he will be best remembered. I saw him argue once in court, and trust me, he could intimidate and woo the judge in equal measure. The judges were actually intimidated by Ram Jaitmanani once he was in full flow in the court. So truly uh, a legend of the Indian uh, uh, legal system. Uh, but will also be remembered by some for his political interventions in Parliament and outside, particularly, of course, most famously in that great election of 1977. There were, you know, there were numerous cases that he argued. Many, of course, questioned his, uh, his uh, ethics and as to why did he take up cases often for those accused of serious crime. Jet Malani made it very clear his brief was as a lawyer to fight for his client. In a sense, he carried that forward to his politics as well. Right, so a legend as far as uh, the legal fraternity of India is concerned. Let's take us through, take you through some of the prominent cases that Mr. Jait Malani fought. There was, of course, the 1962 Nanavati case where he fought for the state of Maharashtra. His strategy ensured that K.M. Nanavati was held guilty in that case. Then, of course, was the, the emergency standoff where he challenged the unlawful detentions in the Supreme Court of India. Of course, after that, it was followed by Indira Gandhi's assassination case where he defended her killers, Satwan Singh and Keher Singh. This was also followed by Rajiv Gandhi's assassination case where he defended convict V. Sriharan in his capacity as a lawyer. In the parliament attack case as well, he defended the death sentence of Afzal Guru. In the forest scam case, he defended RJD chief Lalu Prasad Yadav in the Supreme Court of India after his conviction in the state of Bihar. In the disproportionate assets case, he defended former chief minister of Tamil Nadu, the late Jay Lalita. That was again one of his high-profile cases. In the 2G Spectrum case, he defended DMK member of parliament Kanimori. In the stock market scam, he defended Harshad Mehta and Ketan Parikh, again a very high-profile case. In the Hawala scam, he defended BJP veteran L.K. Advani. He was known to be very close to Mr. Advani. In the illegal mining case, he has also defended B.S. Yedirupa, Karnataka Chief Minister's son. As far as the Haji Mastan smuggling cases are concerned, he defended the Mumbai-based underworld. He was in fact called a smuggler's lawyer. In the Jessica Lal murder case, he defended Jessica Lal's killer, Manu Sharma another controversial case. In the Sarabuddin fake encounter case, Mr. Jait Malani defended then Gujarat Home Minister Amit Shah. This was also followed by Ramavtar Jaggi murder case. He defended the former Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Ajit Jogi's son in this case. In the Asaram Bapu rape case, he defended 
the self-styled Godmoon in the minor girl rape case. And one of the last high-profile cases that he fought, he fought for Arvind Kejriwal in the defamation suit that the late Union Finance Minister Mr. Arun Jaitley had filed against Arvind Kejriwal. Let's listen in to some of the reactions that are coming in from across the legal and political spectrum, remembering the eminent lawyer. Uh, Ram was a legend. He has appeared in the biggest of criminal cases for so many politicians, so many businessmen, so many industries, so that whenever any one of them was in trouble, the first person they thought of to defend for the defense was Ram Jatmalani. And he got so many acquittals because as a criminal uh, lawyer, nobody could surpass him. In fact, one day I told him that, uh, Ram, uh, you are number one in the country as a criminal lawyer. But his reply was, what do you mean uh, number one as a criminal lawyer? I am number one as a constitutional lawyer also. The reason is that he would appear in any sort of case, any number of cases, constitutional or otherwise. And therefore, he was at the top of the profession. And naturally, living up till 95 years, uh, I mean, uh, his health would have uh, been affected. In fact, the last time uh, I saw him was about two years back when he came for a conference uh, in the Bar Council of India. He is a legend. We have lost a great lawyer, and all of us will miss him for a long time to come. In one word, a fighter. Always a fighter. He was uh, the lawyer. He had the primary requirement for a lawyer courage. Add to that, he had great intelligence and great industry. He was an incredible worker when he sat on a brief. He could shut the world out, concentrate on the brief and crack it simply on pure law. I doubt whether anyone will have a legal career of, for the length of time that he has had. One of the greatest juries I have ever seen in my life. I don't think there is any subject under the sun which he has not appeared. He never said no to anybody. Hmm. Wherever people uh, said no, he also had the courage and he was bold enough to appear and plead for those people, the least, the last and the lost. So he was the voice of the voiceless hmm. in many occasions. He was a great noted uh, criminal lawyer and uh, charged the peace holder, there is no doubt about it. But he never turned away any client for want of peace. लंबे समय से हमारा श्री राम जेठामलानी जी के साथ जो संबंध रहा है, यहाँ तक उनकी योग्यता, प्रतिभा और क्षमता का प्रश्न है। भारत का रहने वाला हर व्यक्ति इसका कायल था। और बिरले ऐसे वकील होते हैं जिनकी की ख्याति अथवा जिनके नाम से लोग गांव दूर दराज में रहने वाले लोग भी अच्छी तरह परिचित सियासी दुनिया के लिए एक बड़ा नुकसान है वहीं पर जो है वो कानून की दुनिया के लिए भी एक बड़ा नुकसान है और उनके निधन की भरपाई उनकी जो कमी है उसकी भरपाई तो मुश्किल काम है लेकिन उनके उनके परिवार के लोगों को ऊपर वाला ताकत दे कि वो इस दुख को सह सके sharing all manner of jokes, uh, likes, dislikes, anecdotes. I think a feisty, ebullient, high-spirited person like him will be difficult to replace and find. उनके जाने से निश्चित रूप से जो है औपनिवेशिक क्षति हुई है देश ने एक ब्रिलियंट ब्रेन खो दिया है नेता खोया है एडवोकेट खोया है अभी भी किसी को कोई रास्ता नहीं मिलता था कुछ नहीं मिलता था दिल्ली में किसको जाए तो राम जेठमलानी जी के यहाँ जाइए तो दो एक तो तीन चार जो एडवोकेट हैं उनमें सबसे टॉप थे सब इनको गुरु भी मानते थे हिज पासिंग अवे हैज क्रिएटेड अ ह्यूज वैक्यूम इन द एंटायर लीगल सिस्टम एंड वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट द क्रिमिनल जो रिस्पूडेंस ही वॉज एन इंस्टीट्यूशन इन हिमसेल्फ I had great personal relations with him and he did lot of cases also for us.